morning. Okay, so it's another beautiful British uh, morning, beautiful British weather. We're here, we're in Stafford again, uh, and today we're gonna be on this property. You can see behind me, um, we've basically got a consumer unit to change, and we'll go through that in a minute while we're doing that. And then on the wall behind me, somewhere over there, you'll see that between the porch and the front window, we're gonna end up with the hyper vault, which we're gonna to have to run cables around and get down to. So we'll, uh, we'll get stuck in. I'll take you in in a minute and I'll show you why we're putting a new consumer unit on this one. Um, yeah, cool. First things first though, obviously, get the coffee on the go. Thanks for that. Thank you. Right, okay, so we're gonna put, let's turn you around. We're gonna put a new consumer unit. That's, um, yeah, one of the uni lights. We need to install an EV charger in here, as we've said. Uh, we can see what we've got there. So probably an old consumer unit for a shower, um, an outbuilding, something like that. Um, it is a loop supply, but we're told now that it's been unlooped. Um, so we believe that actually that's already been done. But either way, we'll fill our ENA paperwork in and they'll advise the customer then what the next steps are. Um, so we've got the meter tails going into the isolator. We're going to strip this bad boy out because we don't need it anymore. And then realistically, we're going to put an EV charger on. We don't want to share that RCD because it won't be a type A. We could have, we could have thought about putting a type A RCD in, swapping that, putting the EV charger into this fuse board, but then we've got no surge protection, etc., etc., etc. And of course, we've got a plastic consumer unit. Um, so we actually offered the customer the two options. We said we can either strip this out and put another little consumer unit in just to do the EV charger. Um, we'll split the tails, etc., etc., etc. Or we can actually strip this out anyway, take that consumer unit out completely, put a nice new one in. And that's the plan. So that's what we're going to crack on with. Right, a bit gobsmacked then because so we've started stripping this consumer unit out. We can see straight away that we're going to have to at least do some pinning back to the wall and what have you. But the first circuit we came to straight away started tripping before we've actually even touched the fuse board. Um, this cable was spurred off it, which goes over to a socket, etc. there, which we're going to put on its own circuit. And then I'm looking at the ring and I've got some different looking cables, etc., etc. Well, I've tested it and it's actually a really good ring. So as long as it megas through insulation resistance tests through, we're absolutely fine. Uh, but I was a bit gobsmacked at that because I was expecting, oh, here we go. Here we go, but actually pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. So fuse board out. We're gonna fix that back a bit. All cables tested uh, and identified so we know they're all color coded so we know what's what. Bonding cable, earth cable. This is a TT system. We've tested that side of things as well. We've just the earth rod connected, bonding and everything taken out. That's all good. Rings are both fine, which is, which is Again, like I said earlier, I'm a little bit surprised we haven't got any problems on there at all at this moment, so that's good. Uh, so now it's time to secure this back and get on with it. Get on with putting it on the wall. Right, board, nice and secure back to the wall now. That's good. We've got many coming switch there. Can't really do much with that because it's on the live tail side, but it's turned off. We're gonna start prepping. Prepping. What are you doing? We'll start prepping this bad boy now and get him on. 